His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 72 for 2015, designating the Minister responsible for urban planning affairs as the relevant minister having juridical to enforce juridication to enforce the provisions of a decree by law 25 2015 regarding the levying of infrastructure development and uh, construction costs in urban areas. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace in the attendance of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, a number of officers of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, the RBNF, Frigate uh, Sabha, marking the return to the kingdom after taking part in the operation Restoring Hope in Yemen. His Majesty welcomed the officers and directed them to convey his greetings to all uh, Sabha crew, hailing uh, their remarkable role in defending legitimacy in Yemen and their efforts regarding maintaining regional security. His Majesty expressed appreciation for their bravery and dedication while performing their national duty, in addition to their humanitarian duties of securing the international navigation in Aden, as well as a uh, participation in delivering humanitarian and medical assistance in cooperation with the Royal Charity Organization to the Yemeni people. His Majesty highlighted their efforts alongside the Arab coalition in maintaining regional peace and security and fighting piracy. His Majesty the King wished BDF officers success in performing their national duty. Then Lieutenant Nawaf Al Mahmoud delivered a poem. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace members of Yatim family. His Majesty prayed Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of Hussein bin Ali Yatim in eternal peace and underlined his remarkable contribution in the development of the kingdom's economic and trade fields. His Majesty hailed Bahraini family's role in supporting the economic and investments move in the kingdom, in addition to their honorable patriotic stances. Members of the Yatim family expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, wishing him abundant health and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity under his leadership.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict Number 62 for this year, forming a committee to evaluate the cost of infrastructure. The committee will be chaired by Under Secretary of the Transport and Communication for Land, Transport and Mail, with the membership of relevant authorities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa congratulated the Honorary President of the Bahrain Parents Welfare Society, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, who was bestowed the highest social responsibility decoration from Sudanese President Omar Hassan Al Bashir in appreciation for his role in humanitarian, charitable and voluntary work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underlined the efforts of Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa in spreading the culture of voluntary work and serving humanity. For his part, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on his sentiments, stressing that His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa is the first supporter to charitable and humanitarian work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa opened today the Chinese Dragon City project at Diyar al Muharraq, Dragon City, Bahrain's very own $100 million Chinatown, and a major retail project offers unique wholesale and retail opportunities to local consumers, trade customers, and tourists. Spread over a total land area of 115,000 square meters with a built up area of 56,000 square meters, the retail development encompasses Dragon mall and a theme dining village. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said the project is the fruit of excellent cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and China and the result of Bahrain's good reputation as a successful invest investment environment. The Prime Minister toured the newly opened project which includes 360 commercial units that meets the demands of the local and Gulf market. He stressed that establishing such major investment projects reflect the investors trust and the strength of Bahraini economy and reinforcing the kingdom's competitive abilities and attracting more capital, which goes in line with the government's strategy to diversify sources of income. Diyar al Muharraq Chairman Abdul Hakim Al Khayyat expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for opening Dragon City. He also commended the constant support to all developmental projects across the kingdom, highlighting the Prime Minister's directives to facilitate the work of the private sector and encourage more projects that serve the national economy.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today Shura Council Member and President of the National Institution for Human Rights, the NIHR, Dr. Abdul Aziz Abul. And NIHR board members who presented HR, uh, His Royal Highness the institution's annual report. His Royal Highness commended the, the national competencies working in the human rights field and their role in defending Bahrain and protecting its honorable legal reputation. The Prime Minister hailed the role of NIHR in reinforcing human rights in Bahrain, praising its efforts in preparing the annual report which documents the reality of human rights in the kingdom and its efforts and achievements. He confirmed Bahrain pride in its outstanding legal reputation based on modern and advanced laws and constitutional provisions that reflect Bahrain's characteristics of coexistence and diversity. He stressed that all the government's developmental programs consider human rights as a top priority to preserve the dignity of the people and the rights of a safe living. For his part, Dr. Abul expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to the NIHR in order for it to perform its duties and message in developing, reinforcing and protecting human rights in addition to raising awareness. He pointed out that the support provided to the institution encourages its staff to move forward with its role to consolidate human rights. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today the outgoing South Korean ambassador to Bahrain, John Hayu. His Royal Highness noted the development in Bahraini South Korean relations and the uh, prospering commercial and economic cooperation between the two countries. He welcomed the level of cooperation and coordination in regards to regional and international issues, as well as the role of the South Korean Prime Minister's visit to Bahrain in line with supporting bilateral relations. The Prime Minister also commended the outgoing South South Korean ambassador's role in supporting and reinforcing friendship and cooperation between the two countries. For his part, the ambassador expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his keenness to expand fields of joint cooperation, which facilitated his diplomatic mission in the kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to claim more titles and feats from participation in the International Mixed Martial Arts Championships. As the professional MMA fighter James Gallagher from Khalid bin Hamad Team KHK MMA has won the title of Chaos 15 Championship for professional MMA fighters, beating fighter Dickie McLennan in the first round of the main fray in the championship hosted in Derry City, Northern Ireland. On this occasion, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and chairman of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on this accomplishment. His Highness said, the Bahraini mixed martial arts game MMA will continue to achieve more accomplishments thanks to the royal patronage for the youth and sports sector, which will boost the kingdom's sports revival and its advancement. His Highness also congratulated the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their unlimited support to the youth and sports sector through the implementation of numerous vital projects that contribute in the constant process of building and development of this important sector. His Highness slotted the outstanding efforts exerted by the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in translating the vision and directives of His Majesty the King for the continuous comprehensive development process through the initiatives, plans and programs laid down by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad that contribute an achievement of the goals and aspirations for the development and advancement 
of Bahraini sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad commended the professional performance and high level attained by professional MMA fighter James Gallagher from KHK MMA team who accomplished this spectacular result to be added to the record of achievements by the Bahraini sports at various functions. He also thanked the technical and administrative crews for preparing the winning fighter in the best way to successfully participate in this championship and achieve such honorable results for the kingdom. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today in which the Council referred a draft a law regarding housing to the Public Utilities and Environment Committee for further studies. The Council discussed a report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee regarding a draft law of an agreement between Bahrain's government and the government of Cyprus on a double taxation. The Council also approved a draft law regarding air services agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus.